Previously on Follow the Leader. The mansion stood foreboding and ominous under the light of the full moon as the car approached. The rumours have been around for as long as anyone can remember and now, on this dark night, the players are about to find out if the Hindley mansion is haunted after all. But uh, there were a couple of different like character sets that you could pick from. There was like a family uh, there, you know, get that good shining vibe going on. And for the really advanced players, you could have a couple of living people and a couple of ghosts. Uh, but we decided to go for the uh, crew of a ghost TV show. The next question is, how did it get here? And like, I like the notion that maybe Mr. Hindley was deep into maybe cryptids and like was obsessed with things like that and uh, maybe found a book on summoning or stuff like that. I think it was invited. What happens then is Marius pulls down some of the books and one of them, you know, kind of like crumbles in their hand. Even though it seemed solid at first, it just like dissolves into dust. And then uh, they pull down another one and notice that it's in some sort of esoteric language. And yeah, there's the part of them that understands that this is going to take a long time to decipher, longer than would necessarily be possible for the show. But there's just this sort of draw to the book, and they're just like, they can't tear their eyes away. We now return to your game, already in progress. Since there are only three of us, um, we decided that anyone can introduce a complication because otherwise it's the same person introducing the complication each time. So uh, we had that in the chat and I felt like it was uh, worth putting on air. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, so we are currently trapezing through uh, an unmarked location in the house. Um, door closed behind us. And now we're in the dark. Mostly. Does anyone have a light? Shit. Marius had one. Yes. As long as the... And I okay. assume that Davey probably has one too. I mean, Davey probably... I don't... Yeah, he, he, he's got something. Um, oh, Kari pulls out a little... Uh, one of those little head torches. Oh, good. Pops it on. <laughs> as well as... Oh, and the, the camera's got a light on the top. Okay. Too. Yeah. I mean, it's all earrings, the... earring, earrings are back in. Oh, key course. detail. Thank you. Well, on, on the side that doesn't have the camera on the shoulder. <laughs> right. So, he's, nice. he's got it. He, he's got it down. He knows how to mm -hmm. handle a big camera and statement earrings. Mm -hmm. He's a professional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's on the resume. Yeah. <laughs> Can look good while filming. Um, mm -hmm. Just in case your boss turns around with his little handheld camera and just goes, oh, oh my God. Um, That's definitely the noise. That's the, one of the sound bites that the fans made. The, the Davy exclamation <laughs> supercut. <laughs> supercut. <laughs> yeah. And, and there's definitely the Marius unimpressed face supercut too. And then there's just the Kari's actually on camera supercut. The Kari's arms and abs super cut. <laughs> yes. Sometimes when Davy drops his camera, uh, it just angles nicely to some abs. Um, no. <laughs> Listen, uh, 
um, Kare knows how to secretly work the camera. It's true. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's, it's where in this dark little, it's not exactly a crawl space. It's, it's pretty, it's not a crawl space and it's not roomy, but they can walk through it without having to like worry too much about the camera equipment. And, um, Davey is automatically in the lead, uh, especially also since he came through the door first, uh, and it's kind of hard to pass by each other. Um, and so, um, and Mario still has their EMF reader out, and there's just the sound of that mostly kind of just like clicking and beeping or whatever it does when it says things are haunted. Um, and, um, Davey is kind of like inching forward, um, just very curiously uh, shining the light in front of him to make sure that there's like nothing in their way and kind of like calling out, oh, watch out for this, watch out for this. And, um, and then at some point he goes, so Marius, you said this wasn't on any of the floor plans of the houses? No, the house. and house. it shouldn't even be here. This, the other side of that wall is part of the parlor. I'm not sure we went to the parlor, so obviously the parlor exists where it's expected to, but for whatever reason, this isn't on the floor plan. Mm. <laughs> and so Mav and, <laughs> Mav and Chat says, I've read House of Leaves. Um, I know how this goes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've read Coraline. I know yeah. how this goes. I read Coraline. We're going to open up a door on the other side of the tunnel, and there's going to be people there with button eyes, and my family will be back. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay, I've got an idea for a complication now. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oops. So, um. <laughs> if, it, if it goes positively, there's, there's this, uh evidence of a haunting of your choice um something cool that gets caught on camera if it goes poorly one of the beams falls and mm. um like between marius and davy and when the dust clears uh you don't see marius and davy or marius and kari anymore oh no Ooh. oh no oh i can't decide how i want this to go you could just take the 2d6 and see how what fate decides. Yeah, I was like, I'm just going to have to do 2d6 because I don't know if I want it to go positively or negatively. Negatively. Both good. I can't speak. Good complication, Dora. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Ooh. okay. Um, so I got a 10. That It went well. Um, a, a 6 and a 4. And um, so that means that... Um, like we get a, a good some good good haunting action and i think definitely uh, definitely not one of the kids it might be the, the figure of the mom or you know as far as we're concerned uh, or as far as we're able to tell um it's the wife um who disappeared and um she like appears right in front of them and like so like Davy holds out his hands to stop everybody from moving and um, even though he's kind of like blocking the hallway and you can't move past him and um, she's like standing further back along the hall and um, you can't see her face she's like looking down and her hair is just like hanging down and around her and um, like it, it used to be up in a bun but there's like strands falling loose and um, she's wearing very, like, indistinct clothing, and it fades into, you know, ghostly ether by her feet. And um, there's, you can see her mouth, like, opening, and, like, she's trying to say something, and words aren't coming out. And all you can hear is just, like, this dull sound of static in the background, and kind of, like, the dull crackling of flames in the background beneath the, the words that she's not speaking. And so um, Davy has his little camera up, and Kari's got that camera going. Um, but Davy takes a few steps closer, and as he does, she like keeps pace, like back, and just back and back until um, they 
come up to a solid wall and she looks up and in this brief second there's flames in her eyes and she opens her mouth in a soundless scream and then she just kind of like fades back through the brick wall uh to, to somewhere we don't know where Bubble nice. i think i think you quietly hear kari go fuck me <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> yes go ahead yeah no i i just varius is just like mm-hmm Davy. <laughs> 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 Davy just kind of, like, steps forward with a degree of confidence that, honestly, no man should ever have when faced with a ghost <laughs> doing this, and, like, puts his hand up against the wall and just kind of, like, pats it and goes, mm, okay, uh, there's no secret door here, I don't think. Cool. Did you see that, everybody? Yes! Hauntings! A little too excited, mm -hmm. that scene. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's just like, oh, starry-eyed, and obviously everyone else is just like, oh, no thanks. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. 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 Oh, I just realized we're channeling some good, good Crimson Peak right now. I We've gone from BuzzFeed that. Unsolved to Crimson... Oh, map. you should. I know, good. I'm a failure. Oh, I haven't seen it either, so I've also oh. failed myself, and okay. this... Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll ask my friends to let me borrow it so I can watch it, because I know they have it. Yeah, I know a friend who has it too, so it'll it's be on UK. It's on UK Netflix. We could do a rabbit room. <gasps> Much I together. can't today, but soon. Yes. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. Anyway. Anyway, back yeah. to the show. Yes. Um. Shoot, so... We could do another time skip if you wanted. Like, I assume they've got enough, like, food and stuff with them and sleeping bags to do, like, a couple of days here. Yeah. Like, it's oh, gosh. All together. Yeah. So <laughs> we're, we've got sleeping bags or, or, you know, some of those collapsible cots or whatever. Oh, Actually, yeah, I think. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, oh, definitely. Like, Kari has, like, like, knows, like, hired some camping equipment or bought, so we got those little portable pop-up beds, mm -hmm. things, like, maybe an air mattress if somebody's fussy. Somebody, you know. yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> don't imply I mean, I, that this is Davy because this is his job, and he's I used wasn't. to it. Oh, no. <laughs> I <I'm sorry, laughs> wasn't implying it was Davy. <laughs> There's only one person fussy enough to have an air mattress, and that's okay. Marius. <laughs> Marius has one of those little one of those little foot powered uh, uh, mm -hmm. inflating, you know, inflating devices because you never know if you're going to have electricity. So an electric one is just right out. So mm -hmm. uh, Marius is um, probably off in a quarter corner furiously trying to inflate their mattress. Um, you know, Kari, <laughs> That's such a good visual. <laughs> they they look very to put upon. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> That is exactly what's happening. They look they look incredibly put upon. Um, they're trying not to let on that they're incredibly put upon. Um, and uh, I think uh, they finally finish blowing up the mattress. And uh, they start laying out their sleeping bag on top of it. And they're, you know, uh, go off to do their... Ablutions. Yeah. Perform one's ablutions. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Uh, Gosh, that's such a good let's play. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so uh, they go off to, to do their evening ritual, uh, getting ready for bed, and so they're doing that uh, separately from everybody else. Because, I have a complication, uh, but please ahead. finish. No, I was going to say because that would be a really great way to get a complication in there. <laughs> okay, I think... Uh, oh, no, right. The complica uh, words start appearing. Mm on the mirror in the tiny little i imagine it's like i imagine it's just like lots of these okay deep green tiles because oh. green is good and it's like a little small washroom it's not like a full bathroom but there's there's a toilet and a sink and the, uh, this mirror over it and it's not cold in this room and it's not like hot and steamy in this room but it is like steam or condensation starts forming on the mirror in front of you mm -hmm. and words start to appear 
hmm, how do I want this to go? Or how do I want, what do I want the options to be? Hmm. Okay, oh. if it goes... Oh, if you yeah, if you want to finish it, Mav, if you've well, got I an idea for a say, positive or a negative. It, um, I don't know which one, which one, but I think definitely um, maybe just like a series of numbers. Um, and between all of us, they're page numbers for the book Ooh. that they picked up. That's good. That's, that's the positive. Because if it's the negative, um, a massive spider comes Ooh. up. <laughs> Oh, it comes oh. up from like the the sink comes drain. Up the, yeah, it comes up the plug hole. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and I love you this. Don't, I, I, and you don't realize until it's on your hand. <gasps> because this. you're just watching. watching the, yeah, your you're face. watching these. Yeah, oh no, you're watching these numbers appear in trance. Uh-huh. Your hands like gripping the edge of the sink. Oh, that's so good. I love this. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna roll two d six because I love this either way. Yeah, because the, yeah, the negative is you won't get a chance to read the numbers, and you have to deal with the spider. <laughs> That's so good, though. Like this is this is beautiful. Thank you both. Um, okay. High five, Mab. Yeah. High five. <gasps> yeah. Literally oh! five. <laughs> literally five. That's so good. That's so perfect. Oh god! And so Marius feels like the the tickling on the back of their hand and they look down and there's this spider and because this is a haunting spider it's not like you know a regular spider because sometimes large spiders can be cute with little toe beans and you know the little multifaceted eyes but no this is like the spider out of marius's nightmares so it's just like all spindly legs and uh it doesn't have fur like you know it doesn't have like the the furry covering it has like just this slick blue carapace or carapace Mm -hmm. and uh marius just like flings themselves backward but the spider's still on their hand and they shriek Um, (laughs) and i think that's that's probably a good place to leave poor marius Mm -hmm. okay um Here's a fun one for you guys to dig, doing a complication on. Uh, it's the middle of the night. Uh, Kari is the only one awake. Davy is sound asleep, and I imagine doing like cute half snoring, half talking kind of thing. Probably. <laughs> yeah, just like very excitable, dreaming of finding ghosts and stuff like that. <laughs> like faced smushed into the cot just like just like something kind of inane and quite sweet and um (laughs) yep 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 um and marius is possibly more fitfully asleep but like after the bathroom incident uh kari made like a chamomile tea and while marius was drinking that inflated the rest of the mattress like got their bed set up for them and got an extra like blanket out and just put that with them and is gonna go to sleep soon but is just sat awake keeping an eye out maybe reading yeah i like the idea of uh, him reading by a little camping light and that is i'm just leaving that open for you guys to throw a complication at well i mean obviously if it goes poorly um one or both of them start talking in their sleep of things they shouldn't be saying oh oh i love this that's great I say oh, obviously. <laughs> no, obviously. that's obvious. That's so good. Um, and I think if it goes well, um, maybe Kari is able to snag some footage of, like, there, maybe there are some, like, ghost lights floating uh, in the distance uh, on the other side of the room, and maybe Kari is able to, to grab uh, Davy's camera you know, the little one to mm-hmm. grab some footage of these uh, glowing orbs. Nice. Um, well, I'm an angst gremlin, so I'm going to take a negative die. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Big mood. So... <laughs> okay. Let's roll them bones. Uh, what is that I want? Uh, small money, no whammy? Big, yes whammies? There we go. Snake small eyes. money. <laughs> yeah. Snake eyes. All of them snake. Yep. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. I'll let one of you guys narrate who does what. Um, 
Marius definitely starts speaking passages from the book that they recovered. Um, but since it's all in code, it just sounds like, uh, gosh, what's it called? Is it glossolalia? Where it's just like, it sounds like nonsense syllables strung together as if they are language. Mm -hmm. Um, so quick minor story time. I remember one time when my sister and I were younger and, um, we were staying over at her aunt's house and she had a habit of talking in her sleep when she was younger and so like i was half awake and all i remember is just my sister um says suddenly like just some weird cryptic phrase and it was just like no mommy mommy i want my my something or other and then she just opens her eyes and stares at me for a few seconds and then closes them and goes back to sleep and it was terrifying Mm. so you know like kari's sitting there and like, suddenly, you know, Maria starts muttering esoteric phrases and mumbo-jumbo. And then, um, I think, like, Davy starts, like, um, I don't... I'm torn between it being him having a conversation, like, a one-sided conversation with someone from his past. Um, or mm-hmm. if it's he's having a conversation at Kari from someone in Kari's past. Um, but at some point, like, he starts, like, saying something, and it's probably, I mean, it's probably at this point it could go either way, where it's just, like, saying desperately, like, Kari, please, please, like, you have to help. And, like, his eyes, like, widen and go open, and he's, the rest of his body isn't moving, but he is saying, like, Kari, Kari, you have to do something, please, you can't let this just keep going on like this, and just kind of going on and on and on for a, a moment. Jesus. Oh, man. Okay, well, I think when Maria started talking, Kari had the, the enough wherewithal to grab the sound recorder mm-hmm. and start uh, recording what Marius was saying um, but and was just like holding it but uh, when um, Davy starts like they're both maybe uh, Marius stops and, and Davy starts like back and, and forth between the two yeah, of them yeah like deeply upsetting stuff you know yeah and I think as like when Davy starts like specifically talking to Kari in a voice that isn't his own Mm -hmm. Um, but it is a voice that Kari recognises I think the uh, you see him drop the sound recorder and um, it hits the ground with a clatter and the camera is on the sound recorder on the floor still getting the sound readings um, but the camera is purely focused on the sound recorder, like in close up, mm. and you just hear Kari crying off screen. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We oh no! Kari cry. <laughs> I didn't and mean that, to. Yes, I did. And that scene. <laughs> but I really liked the visual. That felt like a good horror movie visual of the close up on the recorder still recording. Yeah. Oh gosh. And just like the off camera sound. Um. This is we're on scene four, right? I'm like, I'm yep. yeah, so two okay. more scenes before we hit the finale. Oh my god, oh my god. Let's make some bold choices, guys. Let's send our karma pools one way or the other. I know, mine's just been sitting here. I gotta, I've gotta. I bobbed, I bobbed up and down because I had a positive and a negative, so. Um, that's not the question I was looking for. Um, so I think. We're going to do some more ghost hunting. I think they've been here for a few days by this point. Uh, I say a few days. It might have been like two days or something like that. Um, I mean, Davy packs very well when it comes to these things because he's always expecting to be here for a very long haul because the longer, the more exciting it is. Um, Mm -hmm. And so um, I think... um, um, we're doing a lot of them like separated, I, I think, by accident. But um, I do. I want you know some of some Davy and Kari just um, doing doing some filming and investigating all the different how like the different rooms in the house where there were hauntings, 
and Mm -hmm. um, kind of like talking about like uh, different phenomena. So it's probably like in the evening and um, the ghost ghost lights have picked back up again and they're kind of like lingering in one of the rooms. Um, Mm -hmm. And so like Davy's not in the room with the ghost lights, but they're like, you know, down the hall from it. And Davy's kind of doing like half half whispering, sort of explaining the phenomena that's going on and like pointing it out and saying like, oh, different possibilities of what this could all be, blah, 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 type of thing. Cool. Um, I have a complication that I've had in my mind uh, since we started thinking about doing this episode. (laughs) So just because I I like drama. Uh, I think as uh, you we step into this particular room, uh, it's bare floorboards. Like a lot of the place has been carpeted. This one is just like exposed uh, floorboards and they creak heavily mm. underfoot. Uh, the complication is those floorboards are giving out. <gasps> the positive is that... Uh, Oh man, that's an interesting way to think about positive and negative. But uh, mm-hmm. positive, you're able to uh, you realize what's happening, and you uh, the floorboards do give out. The floorboards give out either way. Mm-hmm. Um, positive, you're able to sort of jump out of the way, and uh, or Kari's able to catch you before you fall. Uh, oh no, Kari's going to try and catch you regardless. Positive, he manages it. Uh, negatively, uh, you're going to get hurt. Like, you're either going to fall a certain amount, like, not, like, requiring hospital treatment kind of falling, but it's seriously going to, like, hamper your ability to wander around the house for a while. And the camera is going to... The main camera is going to get broken. (gasps) Yeah. Because Kari drops it. Like, it's all... Like, I imagine there's backup footage, but we're not going to have the good camera. We're only going to have the little one and camera phones. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, well, you add in a dice? Yeah, I think I'm going to add a negative dice. Just to Hell yeah. add some drama. Um. Oh. oh my <laughs> gosh. So I got a one. Uh. <laughs> um, good Dang. thing this isn't a, a crit fail. Um, but I mean, it could be. You're describing I mean, the scene. I know. Um, so, so yeah, they're like down 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 the hallway from these lights and um but like as as like davy's pointing them out he is also kind of like leading them into the master bedroom and um because that is one of the rooms they haven't explored yet so ooh, there's been some there's been some like high key activity going on the last few nights and so you know it's gonna might as well look into the big room where ooh, there may or may not be a satanic circle etched onto the floor. Ooh, you know, it's kind of like what Davy's saying. Um, mm-hmm. And um, I know you said there's like, it's bare floorboards, but I think across the bulk of the center of the room, there is just a big, heavy rug. And, oh, I like that better. Um, yeah. So there's like this big, heavy, decorative rug, like right in the middle of the room. And um, it does do a lot of like, you know, uh, covering of the poor condition that the floorboards are in um mm-hmm. and so like as davy has like turns around and he's like walking backwards into the room and making like big broad hand gestures as he does and kind of you know like giving his introduction speech to the room and it gives out beneath one of his feet as he takes a step back and then oh. he tries to he uses his off foot to try and like steady himself but then that one goes through also and he starts like there's like a tremendous like cracking of wood um beneath him and the the expression on his face goes from like oh heck yeah this is gonna be fun to oh heck no this is very much (laughs) not fun and like he starts to like pitch like backwards um to the point where like one leg kind of goes down up to up to the knee um Mm -hmm. and like there's still like a solid foundation beneath his foot that he doesn't fall through to the floor beneath him um which is probably the study beneath the master bedroom um but definitely manages to like you know starts pitching backwards and like yanks one leg like at like makes his 
me out of its socket type of thing and yeah i think that's when kari like drops the camera and like dashes over and catches hold of uh davy's arms uh before he can pitch backwards like completely back like if the rug hadn't been there i think davy would have gone straight through probably yeah but the the rug catches on like the broken wood and stops uh, or slows it enough that kari's able to grab you before you go through completely um and like at that point he's just clinging to kari and is just like heavy breathing very panicked and is just like not saying anything and he's just like okay 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 we're okay i'm okay can i add a little detail before the scene finishes you hear the same giggle okay (laughs) yes oh man only you hear it though yes kari doesn't hear the giggle only davy yes good and then it fades and that's Nice. Marius. Oh, man. Um, I feel like Marius and Davy haven't had a scene just the two of them since the beginning, so Mm -hmm. I definitely want that to happen, but I'm trying to figure out what the framing of the scene would be, I think. So we're down to just Davy's camera. Davy has a sprained, uh, well, not sprained, has like a really injured knee. So I think maybe Marius and Davy are doing kind of like uh, stationary work, maybe scrubbing through uh, some of the stuff that's on the sound recorders, Mm -hmm. um, looking for um, uh, EVP, that's Mm -hmm. what it is. And uh, Marius is just looking frazzled, like this particular particular investigation seems to really be getting to them. Um, And uh, they turn to Davy and they're just like, and this is something that, that Davy probably knows doesn't happen very often, but Marius is just like, are you all right? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been better. Um, I know you've been looking pretty exhausted since the first day here. Are you doing okay? Do you want to, like, take a night off, perhaps? No, absolutely not. We're We're getting... We're digging into this. We have so much here that we can use for for the show that that we can use to further the story of the mansion. I'm I'm not giving up. We can't give up now. I'm not. I can't. I have to keep going. Yeah. I mean, I I desperately want to know what's going on in here. It's not. The most friendly place, but in so far, I wouldn't necessarily say it's been evil to us. I mean, I say as I'm the one getting injured, right and left. But you know. Quick clarification: What room are you guys in? Doing oh, this? Were you at like the home base? Yeah, I would. I would say that this is at the base, the home base, um, just yeah. because that's where all of the equipment is, and so that's probably where the laptops are that you get the sound off of the recorder and. Uh, you know, plug up the headphones to go through them. Are we saying the home base isn't the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. Like, or like, yeah, the kitchen dining room, maybe. Like, there's a little yeah. washroom. Like, maybe that Marius hasn't gone back in, but you know. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Or maybe they're like in the servanty quarters kind of vibe. Like, Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, and Dave- Davey's got his leg propped up on one chair in front of him, and it's just looking like oh my god i want to go up in and explore but this isn't mm-hmm. going well and i think um at that point marius hears something on the recording and is just like davy i need oh. your ears okay and passes the the headphones back to davy and uh rewinds the recording so that way davy can listen to the the thing and and ha- hear sorry go ahead i was because i have a complication if you hadn't speci- if you hadn't decided what it is that you're hearing I, I have not okay um what you're hearing and you don't realize it uh is the stuff you were saying when you were asleep yes Ooh. um that that's what you were hearing and like I think the scene you see like Davy 
who maybe has better hearing, I know, is like repeating what he's hearing and you're like scribbling it down. Um, uh, if you roll positively, you realize that it's page numbers. Like, yeah, like you recognize, no, you recognize some of the words as stuff from the book that you were flicking through and are able to like piece something together. Um, Mab, have you got a thought on what the negative consequence could be? Um, I think. I mean, Davy can always be the conduit for it. You know, depends what yeah, you want to do I to was this gonna, sweet boy. I was boy. going to say, <laughs> listen, I'm so mean to this sweet boy. Um, I was going to say, like, if it goes negatively, it's like positively, you're like you're hearing these words and starting to understand them, which in a way you didn't suspect that you could. But it's also coming through a third party. It's not like, you know, a, a proxy is what's saying it. And so it doesn't have the same impact. But I think like if it goes negatively, it is like it comes through with the full force of the words and maybe not enough. Um, like, you know, Davy's diction is pretty bad when it comes to strange esoteric languages. So it's not it might not be that like it's enough but you can start sensing that like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm getting the idea of what goes on behind these words and what necessarily like is happening. Even if you can't fully understand the words that are being said, you get to the Ooh. concept that is being spoken. Can I, can I add something to that? Please. Yes. As Davy is saying it, you hear a second voice mm -hmm. from behind you, Marius, just low in your ear saying the exact same thing yes. but with with the correct diction yes. somebody who knows these words and it's like low and just like you have this presence the proper behind cadence you. the proper pronunciation oh, yeah. we haven't met mr hindley yet it seemed only fair he show up yeah. oh my gosh oh my gosh okay i'm taking a negative die on that because <laughs> i want this to fail sorry davy i'm it's selfish okay. i'm selfish so i want this that's my vice we've okay. all done it on the last two rolls i went for negative and so did my map so <gasps> Oh man! Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! You rolled good, buddy. You rolled good. That's upsetting. I got a seven, which means that I got the positive one. Oh um, no! You're getting closer to the mystery. Yeah. So I'm getting, I, I'm scribbling down these page numbers, and I'm just like, frantically trying to write them down. And uh, I actually, poor Davy, uh, we don't have the book with us right now. So I actually dash off to the base camp to get the to get the book and bring it back. Uh, so I can I can start researching it um, while Davy is sitting there and you know kind of like foisting off my my sound listening duties to Davy. <laughs> uh, poor guy. Well, I um, mean, the the backside of that is as soon as Maria stops talking strange esoteric numbers, then Davy starts hearing what he, quote unquote ooh. he said to Kari. Oh, that's so good. Like, the recording shifts. Oh, yeah. I love and that. And so he's there, and he's just, like, repeating repeating what he hears, um, probably without even realizing that he's doing it. And then suddenly, like, he... Like, because I think it starts off with, like, it's obviously his voice, and then it shifts into something else, like a deeper tone than his own. Ooh. And, like, he just stops what he's doing immediately and is just, like, listening with a very intent but slightly terrified look on his face. Um, because I don't know if Marius got this far in the recording. Um, no. So, okay. So, yeah, they don't, they don't know what comes next. And so Davy's just there listening to it. And um, I think he's got his finger like on the delete button and he's got Ooh. it like highlighted and he's like debating like at least just his portion you know in audacity you just highlight it and you can hit like some control k or you know to delete it and he's just like got his finger like hovering over the button and he's like uncertain what he wants to do oh man that. this is I awesome that. oh you guys okay um Hey Matt, hey Matt, would you be up for uh, for doing a scene where uh, Davy confronts Kari about what he heard? 
Yes. On that recording. Yes. Regardless of, we don't have to address on camera whether or not it got deleted or not. Right. Yes. But I like the notion of, um, I think it's the early hours of the morning. Because that last scene was evening, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, actually, it's, no, it's the middle of the night again. And I don't think you guys realised it, have realised this, because Kari, as per uh, his vice, is a stubborn and he hasn't told you two that he's basically not been sleeping since oh, he heard Davy saying that uh, the other night. And uh, he's like maybe been getting like the odd bit of sleep, mm-hmm. uh, but he's just been like dialing up the makeup to cover the dark circles. And on, with his skin tone, it's kind of harder to, to see anyway. Mm-hmm. But like been depleting the coffee stash. And I think the scene is... Um, or the framing of the scene is that maybe Davy wakes up and uh, sees Kari like stood at the window looking up at the moon, like because uh, the the description for the playset is the full moon. Mm-hmm. I think uh, because why not? And it because it just happened last night. Uh, it's like a blood moon. Yeah, <laughs> nice. like a lunar eclipse. And uh, yeah, like Kari's just there at the window because interpersonal sh- shit is my jam. Yeah, yeah, especially so. with these two. Um, so, yeah, yeah, like, Davy, like, sits up and is, like, looks around for a moment, um, probably came out of some kind of, like, bad dream, um, and, like, spots Kari at the window and just, like, (laughs) it's, he was gonna try to get out of bed in a stealthy fashion, um, or at least, like, not startle Kari immediately, but his, he's got a bum leg now, and so it's very, very complicated. Aww. He's got, like, a chair next to him to help, like, lever him out of bed. Um, mm. And, um, you know, oh, God, sleeping in a cot with a bum knee has got to suck. But um, mm. he's he's been soldiering through it. Um, and so, like, he starts, like, heaving himself upright uh, to the point where it's just like, okay, it's, it's noticeable that Davy's awake. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as, like... <laughs> Kari realizes he'll go and, uh, Davy, you really shouldn't be getting up. Like, you're supposed to be resting yeah, there. Okay. I'm still annoyed because I wanted to take you to the hospital, but you insisted it's that fine. we stay. A few more days. A few more days. We'll get enough. One, to... one more day. Mm. All right. Um, Davy will give up on this challenge if Kari gets some sleep. Don't think I haven't noticed. Anyone ever told you you're too perceptive for your own good, Davy? No, because you're the only one around lately. <sighs> Sorry, Dang. that was mean. It's uh, it's not for lack of wanting to. This place. <sighs> Why do you think I want to go? Not it's not just your knee. I'd like to leave so I can get a decent night's sleep. So how's that for a challenge? We'll do one more day, like 24 hours. We'll do another day here. I don't want to spend another night here, Davy. I want to go. Okay, that's fine. I think we we'll have a good a good session. We can wrap it up nicely. I think I can spin it well enough in a story that would appease our fans. I'm I'm sorry about the camera. Oh, it's fine. It's replaceable. We've got the footage that we needed. Okay. It's fine. Kari. Yeah. About. So, Marius and I were listening to the recordings from the first night. And. Hmm. Was that me? I would like to introduce a complication. Okay. Please. <laughs> so, Please, I want to avoid this awkward conversation. So, we're. <laughs> oh, no. It's gonna no, be it's getting worse. It's gonna, yeah, get worse. it's gonna get worse. So we're in the the base camp. So we've probably still got most of our equipment there. And I bet you one of the laptops has been left in sleep mode as opposed to being turned off. Mm-hmm. And um, so if you roll positively, the laptop kind of flares into life. But that's that's really all that happens so it can be like a distraction and a way to to get you out of the conversation but if you mm-hmm. roll negatively the laptop flares into life and even though you may have uh you may or may not have deleted that portion of the recording 
you will hear at full volume the <sighs> recording of what you said. Yes, good. Take it a negative dice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, so yeah, like, DB was saying, like, was that me on the recording? I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's <laughs> like, that yeah. good, good negative result that we want to <laughs> see. I, I got a five. Um, so yeah, like, Kari looks like uh, he's avoiding answering, um, and then the laptop sort of like blares to life playing this, and it's loud enough to wake Marius. Oh yeah. So Marius gets to hear this as well. And uh, Kari's face just sort of goes like, I was going to say goes super pale. Like, that doesn't really happen with that skin tone. But, like, Blanche, like, visibly looks like he's been struck. And he just sort of, like, darts over to the laptop to try and shut it up. And he closes, he slams the lid down so hard that you hear, like, the plastic almost crack. Mm -hmm. But you know how the sound always takes a while after the laptop closes i have a laptop that does that because it just will freeze and it'll just go yeah. really yeah. loud noise. Oh, yeah oh 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 and um yeah the the sound keeps going and then it just sort of stut keeps stutters on the same phrase over and over again oh my uh, which gosh. is just which is just help me yeah and it's not davy's voice saying it I mean, it's coming from Davy, but it's like, and you just hear this sort of help me over and over and over again. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think also, it's not just the one voice anymore. Oh, even better. I think it's a few. But it's not. But it's not. But it's not just coming from the laptop anymore. No, just from the rest of the house. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. We're the worst. <laughs> Mean to these traumatized people. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh Kari just sort of like sinks down to the like to his knees in front of the table um, and is just crying. Davy can't oh. get out of bed. But he wants to. <laughs> Marius can Marius can though, and instead of like the awkward leaning back, you know, patting awkwardly the the shoulder, Marius mm. just kind of like gently rests a hand on Kari's shoulder. Like, not awkwardly. Mm, I think that's scene. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Kari puts his hand on top of Marius's hand. And that's scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dave, Davey's stuck in bed going, I want to give you a hug, but I can't get up. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Final round of scenes before oh the God. finale, y'all. Yeah. Um. So, I think it's... Um, Davy somehow managed to hobble his way back upstairs to the nursery and is like is sitting in there again and um he's just I think he's like talking in a very low voice just sort of like um I think mostly it might be kind of like the idea of running through lines like he's preparing yeah. for like how he's going to spin the um the, the closing segment of the show but at the same time mm -hmm. he's kind of just recapping what happened to a quote unquote whoever wants to be listening type of idea and he's mm -hmm. holding the, the bunny uh, in his hand again and then he like stops and looks down at his knee and is just have you been having a good time because I don't know if the rest of us have been and I don't know if playing games is fun if only one person is having fun. Um, I don't have a complication. Uh, I just wanted to ask, is this like some Blair Witch style recording with the personal camera, like the sound recorder next to him on the bed? No, I don't think he's actually recording this. Like it, he might have it oh. with him, but he didn't turn it on because he's just like rehearsing what he wants to say before actually saying it. Um, mm -hmm. and so, like, he hasn't turned it on, but, like, if it flickers on of its own accord, then we're not gonna stop it, type of thing. Well, I do think the camera, the camera flicks on, um, 
And I think where it is on the bed, you have sort of like a half cut off view. Of like, so it's like part bed clothes, like pointing up at Davy. Yeah. And it's just like Davy in profile. Oh. Yeah. Words start appearing on the wall. Davy doesn't necessarily see them straight away, but the camera mm. sees them appearing. Hmm. Dora, help me out here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> I just, I can't help but think about, like, you know, just giggling throughout the room, coming at you from, <gasps> from all different directions. But that's not a complication. That's just a flavor to the, that's just an to the scene. Yeah. Yeah, just got, setting yeah. Some, some of the ambiance. Um, so there's I've got words. more set up. I've got okay. more set up. Go for it. Uh, the words are in crayon. Good. And it's in a ch- there's You don't see a crayon, but you hear the dragging of it. And you look around and these words are appearing on the wall. And it says, do you miss your mummy? <laughs> oh, um, <man. laughs> I'm not a good person. <laughs> um, okay. Um, hmm. Complication, complication. God, I should have just made this the finale scene instead. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. Eleanor and I both no. Um, okay. Oh, oh you go, go for it. You, no. no, you go. <laughs> How about. <laughs> no, you make this worse. <laughs> start and then both of you make it worse that's how this works yeah oh yeah uh, yes and the pain here <laughs> yes um so i think if you roll positively actually no i think if you roll negatively the giggling just gets louder and louder and you can hear the floorboards creaking around you and you can't tell if it's because the floorboards are going to give way under you again, or if it's because somebody's, like, jumping around uh, mm. as if they're playing hopscotch around you. Is that the negative? Or yeah. The positive? Okay. That's... Okay, I think... Uh... Oh, here we go. Cause, oh, no, because we've still got a couple more scenes before we hit the finale. Yeah. Um, if it's positive, I think Mrs... Hindley appears. Um, unlike before, when um, the flames in the eyes and the hair falling out of the bun and the sort of sad expression or screaming, I think she just looks motherly. Oh. And she comes and sits next to you. Well. And there's a feeling of familial warmth that you haven't felt in a very long time sad boy i'm gonna go with giving myself a positive die for that one then um <laughs> um yeah so like the crown writing starts happening and it's like do you miss your mum? do you miss your mom and i could be it could i just feel oh, very no. strange if i ever try to pronounce mommy like it yeah. sounds so bizarre coming out but i think we're i don't know if, i'm happy for this to be in america but I just can't say it without okay. sounding like I'm taking the I piss. can't also just sound like I'm going to go, do you miss your mummy? Because then I sound like I'm quoting <laughs> Doctor Who. So... Oh, I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> and I was just like caught in that awkward moment of which do I say? Um, oh, but oh no. But oh no, even with a positive die, I only got a six. And Ooh. like, I think like at that question... Davy's face just sort of crumples and mm -hmm. um the the giggling is going and it's turning to laughter and it's just getting louder and louder and it's like you know and it turns into like this like teasing sort of chorus that surrounds him and he mm -hmm. just kind of like s slouches over and like his elbows on his knees and his face in his hands and he's just like sitting there in silence for the rest of it. Question. Yes. Does the camera, because of the angle, do we see a, see a tear escaping from underneath his hands? Probably when... yes, because uh, it gets him in profile, and mm -hmm. um, and so and then I think like when he doubles over, like because you could see the words over his shoulder behind him, um, mm -hmm. of like, "Do you miss your mommy?" And he turns around and he sees it. 
and then he just like doubles over and as like he does that um there's like more words underneath it but i can't decide Ooh. what i want them to be um but Ooh. it's probably yes you sound like you have something i don't know whether i want it to be something i don't know if i want it to be mean well oh, i got that, a negative want... result and the child is currently teasing him so okay um or whatever is in the house is cheap teasing him through yeah. the voice of the child i think below it it says you should he does oh and should is like underlined yes there is an implication there just like something darker but I don't want to elaborate it too much and be too heavy handed with it. But I think there's the implication there of just like, yeah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. I um, think if it isn't like, if this was like a TV show that we were doing, I think it becomes immediately clear like, yeah, like this isn't because like Davy's moved away from home or anything like that. Like, it's very clear. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah. And I think, yeah. especially with like his posture. Um, it's mm. very obvious that yes, yeah. he misses his mom. Mm. Oh boy, Marius! I already oh. have a thought for a complication, <laughs> so I'm ter- I'm a terrible person. So okay, by all means, go for your Let's scene. I'll, I'll I'll make yeah. it fit. Do it. I'm, do it. Do it. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm kind of thinking that this should be a Marius and Kari scene. Um, like. Mm-hmm while Davy is in the nursery um, mm. Marius is just you know trying their best to not be a dick and <laughs> just being like I don't know what happened last night but whatever it is I'm sorry that it happened and I'm sorry that you had the reaction you had because that's the closest that Marius can come to be comforting. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. Um, and he reaches over and gives your hand a little squeeze, because, like, he knows you're trying. Marius just looks a little, a little like a deer in headlights at the hand squeeze and squeezes back, and is just... Mm. Do you want me to make you some coffee or tea I'm not sure how the coffee works maybe I should make you some tea (laughs) you know I would take either right now thank you and so Marius gets up to go do do the thing the complication because we're this far into a ghost slash haunting thing and this hasn't happened yet is that something comes over Kari and starts talking to you into a voice that is uh, not his (gasps) yeah and um, because let's double down on what we didn't get to do last time I think it's um, Mr. Hindley's voice Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh boy and uh, before uh, we introduce what the complication is, I think this voice starts coming out of Kari. And uh, just like, you know, Doctor, it's been a long time since somebody smart came here. And I think Marius definitely just like stops at that and uh, looks at Kari because Kari only ever calls them uh, Marius or Doc. And is like, who are you? <laughs> Perhaps not that smart. It's just that there are a lot of options of who you might be. I don't want to assume. And I think at that, Kari like sits in a, the kind of posture that Kari would never sit in. And um, it's not quite a man's point, like a man spreading kind of thing, because Kari doesn't go in for that bullshit. Oh, I imagine it's like one of those couches, and it's sort of like arms on the back of the couch, one knee up, uh, foot mm-hmm. crossed, so like the ankle is on the mm-hmm. knee, mm-hmm. and it's just sort of like <sighs> you are speaking to the master of this house, 
doctor. Yeah, and I think there's there's just like an intake of breath because this is both what Marius has been hoping for and also is not liking because that's Kari that Mr. Mm -hmm. Hindley is is currently occupying and Mm -hmm. uh, they take a moment to gather themselves and it's going to take Dora a moment to figure out what they say. Yeah, this is, could be where the complication comes in. Like, this is where the role is. Like, okay. the complication is, Kari got possessed, y'all. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, no, do we take him home with us if this doesn't go well? <laughs> I depends how I ro- dep- Depends how I roll for the finale role, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it also depends on how I roll, because I, I have some yeah. ideas for both negative and positive, so. Sweet. Um, oh, what, for the finale? For the finale, for yeah. This. Yeah, okay. Um, Mab, we need like positive and negative consequences for this role. Oh um, my god. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just lost in thought of picturing Kari in that pose. Oh, it's a good pose, <laughs> to it be is. fair. It's a to power be fair, pose. It's, it's very good. It's very good. Uh, um. Look, there wasn't an opportunity to get a shower drain gag in here, Listen. and I don't think there's going to be. <laughs> So no. I had to get vaguely Dommy Kari in here to have some kind of through line. Good. I had to be um, on brand somehow. Well, if we're going to lean into the Dom Kari aesthetic, I think it's definitely ooh, ooh, yes. he holds out a hand and just says, like, let me come and show you what you're missing. Oh. Oh. oh no oh I, no also 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 because um i don't know if it's positive or negative but uh the presence of mr hindley or the creature that is uses the voice of mr hindley or the essence of mr hindley knows that kari likes marius oh, oh no. yeah so hmm. let me show what you're missing eyebrow waggle is that the positive or the negative that's the question I think because I have I, I have a I have an option, but well, I, I don't know. Because I, I was going to say like I think it is the complication, and depending how it goes would also depend on the result of the action. Okay, I think if it goes, <laughs> okay, one of the options is that um, Mister Hindley, or the creature, or the entity, uh, dismisses the conversation as a waste of its time and. Uh, bamps out of Kari or whatever is happening and just I think Kari gets like a really profuse nosebleed and passes out oh no I've just realised I've got to keep voicing Mr Hindley whatever happens so this is great for me um so that's one action the other can I don't know I mean I want some dark whispers into Marius's ear from Kari's lips. Oh gosh. I was going to say from <laughs> Kari and then I realized it's not technically Kari. Um, but, um, and just also kind of guiding his hand and turning the pages or like point, like writing, like using Ooh. Marius's hand with his own to like write down like yeah. phrases needed. Oh, yeah, he like acts as translator for the book. Yes. So oh, Marius gosh. is going to get the information. But which oh, one? Which? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to use your crush as a puppet for a possible spirit of questionable morality to get more information? What's more important, <laughs> the crush or the quest? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. This is, a fi- this is a five to seven ugly choice kind of a role, yeah, isn't it? it is. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um. <laughs> okay. If you genuinely don't know what you want, just roll two d six and see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't know which one's positive and which one's negative. Oh no, we need to decide, don't we? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, because we've we've used a mix of both with like yeah. whether the whether the ghost activity is a positive or a negative thing. Yeah. So, so I mean, like, I, I think. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not. I'm just genuinely not sure. Which is what I was gonna what... say for Marius's goals and story in particular. Yeah. It would be positive to have the the whispering and the yeah. translating is because that's what Marius wanted. 
So mm -hmm. negative would be that you don't get it. Yeah, agreed. Okay. If that changes how you roll, Dora, by all means, add a dice. Also, no. like, I'm so I'm gonna add a positive die, mm -hmm. uh, because also that's really fucky. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man! No. Oh, <laughs> the fucky that's... fuckiness denied. Yeah. You and me uh, both. <laughs> oh wait, no, I've got a way to make this fucky still. All right. Okay, so what do you say to that, like, first, Marius slash Dora? Oh, man, okay. If this were anywhere else, if it were just the two of us, I would accept your assistance without hesitation, but I need you to leave my friend alone. I think this sort of deep chuckle, like, bubbles out of Kari's throat. And it's nothing like the way Kari laughs. You've heard Kari laugh, and it's nothing like this. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. This one. Oh, the three of us could have such fun together. You should ask him. And Kari, the nose starts bleeding, and Kari passes out. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> that's gotta be that's gotta be seen of you know at panning out at the look of just like the mixture of horror and Horny. upset and also yes. <laughs> I just okay. cackled at my ceiling. <laughs> just like oh my Mark God. me down as scared and horny. <laughs> <laughs> The third motto. I don't know what the second motto is of Follow the Leader, but the third one is, where possible, be scared and horny. Yes. The, the, the second one is nervous, nervous and horny. Ah. Oh, I was going to say sad and horny, but that too. <laughs> oh, man. You're up, Jade. I know. Dang. I don't know what I want to do. Jeez. Everyone's had their buttons severely pressed already. Because <sighs> I haven't had a chance to play on what the third of Kari's fears. Because I think we've done the being alone. And we've done being or people getting hurt on his watch. Haven't addressed enclosed spaces. So... How did you handle well, that crawl space we went through? Oh, I imagined it being bigger than that. Okay. Like, I, if, the fact that the three of us could, like, walk in it a yeah. bit. Like, yeah, I mean, the the backstory thing is, like, there was a cave-in. Oh. And, like, tr being trapped and not being able to get people out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just being stuck. So that's, that's all part and parcel. It's all part and parcel of the same thing. Right. So, um... How long after this fucking impromptu nosebleed should this be and passing out? Because I don't think that's pr common occurrence for Kari either. Okay, because I, I need the I need the drama. I think I want it to be Kari and Marius. And Davy can be there too, actually. I think, like, Davy can, like, show up. Can be there from the beginning or show up partway through. Maybe partway through, depending on how awkward this is going to get. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, we're all the worst. And by that, I mean the best. So, okay. I think it's it, it starts, at least, in the other bathroom. The one that Marius found, because obviously not using the first one. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh no, it's the kitchen. I say the kitchen. Uh, is it the ki uh, Kari, is it the kitchen sink? Like, uh, trying to get cleaned up? Like, clean the blood off his face? Because there was quite a lot of it. And, uh... And he just sort of, like, looks back. Oh, yeah, because I'm that person. Has taken off uh, the shirt because it got blood on it. So yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, shirtless Kari at the sink. <laughs> um, like, using the, the already bloodied shirt to, like, help clean up uh, his face. It's just like, so, um, what happened? You... 
the quote-unquote master of the house decided that you would be a good mouthpiece and offered me something that I did not want. So I told him no, and that's where you came back. Well, mm. after the nosebleed and the passing out, of course. Ugh, sounds fucky as hell. <laughs> <laughs> This laughing is Dora, and I just, I just, you know, spiked, so sorry, future me. Um, gosh. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. It says that sounds kind of fucky. Not in an impressed, so I just sort of like, a very sort of like, yep, yeah, sounds kind of fucky. Uh, Marius blushes, like, full red, the entire face red. That's when Kari turns around to look at you over the shoulder and just like, are you okay? I'm I'm fine. It it was just a very upsetting experience. I'm I'm sure it was very upsetting for you or it would be if you remembered it. Um it was just something that I don't want to repeat and uh it's I'm very uh glad that you are all right and alive and not currently possessed. And yeah, they're no. just kind of looking everywhere but Kari's eyes. Possessed but does sound bad and like shuts the tap off and crosses over to you just like I'm really sorry that happened to you um I'm um I, I appreciate that I am more concerned about um I am more concerned about you than, than myself that was not something that happened to me it happened to you um and uh but I was you're the one who had to see it and I think at this point like Kari takes both of your hands uh, in his because I just really want Davy to have the moment to come into the kitchen to find a shirtless wet Kari holding Marius's hands while Marius is blushing. I don't <laughs> want that to be the complication. Listen, complication I just want that to happen. We get that kiss. Uh, negative result is cock block. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a bit off topic with the haunting, but it's good. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was the point of this? Wait, what? There was there was ghosts. What? What? Ghosts? <laughs> do you remember when do you remember when this game used to be about ghosts? No. <laughs> I thought it was about personal trauma and kissing. So it is Crimson Peak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are not well dressed enough for it to be Crimson Peak. Listen. True. We'll have to have a whole wardrobe change for that to happen. We are attractive enough, though. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, no, I mean, if you want, like, Davy to walk in and he's, like, saying something about how it's all packed up and ready to go. Oh, just, I'll back out very carefully. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. No. Um... <laughs> I'll leave these here on the table and go. Uh, oh. And that uh. that's in character stuttering from Marius. <laughs> which almost never happens. Like, Marius is obviously very measured and, and good at talking. And absolutely gobsmacked and not able to say a single darn thing. I think what Davy leaves behind on the table is, um, oh, Marius, these were your books, right? Leaves them. I found them somewhere else. I'm gonna go now. Nice. <laughs> trying to think of a complication. Yeah. I think uh, as that happened, I think like Kari let go of Marius's hands, but didn't step away. Like, is more embarrassed, or not necessarily embarrassed, but could see that Marius was embarrassed, and so it's sort of like, Davey, you know, it's this. No, you're. It's oh fine. no, it's fine. I'll go. Dave. Uh 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 uh. There's only so fast he can go, but he's making it go. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor Davy. Uh, does Davy get all the way out of the kitchen at that point? Because if I I think so. Okay, cool. I think he does not want to be involved in this. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm going to introduce a silly complication because honestly it's the the best I can think of because it's 
okay, we're not going to be completely mean. It's just the complication is if um, you roll positively, Davy makes it all the way out of the room without any any sort of impediments leaving Marius and Kari alone again. And mm-hmm. if you roll negatively, then that means that something happens and Davy looks like he's going to tip over and so Kari has to go keep him from injuring himself further. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I know. I, I like the notion that we might be able to still get some good ghosty stuff in. So I'm going to aim for a positive dice uh, to try and get the moment with Marius and Kari. Um, because there's all those books there, so there's the potential for something hinky to happen. Yep. Hinky at Tindley. There we go. There's an episode title. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Things get hinkly at Hindley. <laughs> oh dear. I took a positive dice, didn't I? Yeah. Roll 3d3. Six. Six. Three. Oh, that wouldn't be. Yeah, I'll roll 3d. Yeah. Roll 3d6 <laughs> instead. <laughs> nope. Oh, still goes bad. Oh no. Oh, you like Gross. almost got the exact same numbers too. <laughs> Oh yep. no. <laughs> That's a six. Um, I mean we can still I'm... throw in some ghosty things. Oh yeah, sure. Maybe it's a ghosty that trips you, I don't know. <laughs> um We got I, a I bunch just... of children essence of children who like fucking with Davy. <laughs> essence no, of here's here Ooh. here's my, my proposition. Maybe we hear as as like Davy trips on something that's not there, we hear Mr. Hindley chuckle. Oh. Rude. Yeah. We're cock blocked by the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not going to get me involved in your sex life, why you aren't going to get to have any. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, so like Davy's like hobbling out and then like literally just trips over nothing and. Um, like, half catches himself on the wall, half catches himself on Kari as Kari comes running over to to steady yeah. him. Um, and Davy's just like, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to intrude, I didn't mean to trip, I should just, I'm just, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Uh, and I think that's when we hear all, I think this is the, all, I think this is the first time all of us hear it. Like, we all hear, oh no, how about... Um, Marius and Kari hear Mr. Hindley and Davy oh, hears man. the children. Mm. I like Again. it. Again. Okay. So, um, once all of the players have directed their five scenes, it's time to make the final karma roll and narrate the finales. Uh, finales don't have any input from other players and they are not interrupted with the complication. A good finale is a short vignette that describes how your character's story ends. All the players make a karma roll by rolling the five dice listed uh, in their karma pool, uh, wherever your tracker is on it. The number of good and bad karma in your pool will shift, but it will always be five dice. So, however, we are in our in the G doc. So, just for the the sake of our for our listeners, I'm going to be rolling three positive and two negative. Uh, Mab, how how many are you rolling, Mab? I'll be rolling four positive and one negative. Dora, I'll be rolling four positive and one negative as well. Okay. So let's uh, everybody do our rolls, and then we'll uh, see how this uh, all pans out. Do we want to do the roll and then the the narration and then? Yeah, because the person with the higher you you do your vignette narrations in uh, order. Whoever goes highest goes first. Oh no! Okay. Oh my um, god. Let... <laughs> okay. <laughs> One <laughs> second. One second. That went bad for me. Bye. Right. Okay. Um. I... I'm looking for the results. Cause, oh okay, wait, um... no. If you're if it's if it's negative, then it's, it's negative negative yeah. if you roll a positive number even if a, even a one it's positive so okay so <laughs> this ain't fiasco you know. yeah no this isn't fiasco although i do want to pause and say um i rolled a six and jade rolled a one and i was if it were the same rules of uh 
seven or mm. uh, below, six and below being a uh, negative mm. i was totally going to have marius be possessed and try to put the moves Ooh. on kari uh, <sighs> that would have been so good for the record it davy been. came out of it with a 16 yeah i was gonna say that went 16 <laughs> 6 1 on the final results yeah so, I, I do i mean yeah i mean the way the book describes it is you get pos it's a positive number you get a, po- a positive outcome that that's how it goes i kind of like the notion that we have a sliding scale of how good this is given how high davy's number ended up yeah yeah davy made out like a bandit yeah. yeah um oh this shit's going viral this yeah. shit's going viral um so yeah like i but think yeah. um so i go first because i got the highest right yes mm-hmm. okay yes. um I got 16. I got, what was that? That's a, a four, a four, a five, a four, and a minus one. It's beautiful. That's so good. I got basically, you know, four fours. Um, and so, yeah, like, I think, like, Davy's vignette happens, like, a few days after they return home. And um, it's just, kind of, it, like, starts off with, like, the uh, the final parting words that you had seen him rehearsing uh, in the last scene. But he does it, you know, with his usual camera flair and panache. And um, he's, uh, and then it kind of like pulls out that it shows that it's like on uh, the, you know, our, our YouTube analog um, stand in type of thing. And uh, he's just kind of like, he's like watching it, the, the, the final cut of it. Um, there's, you know, tons of like comments already and views and like, thumbs up uh and you know a few thumbs Mm -hmm. down this is so fake type of thing um Mm -hmm. but um and i think it like zooms out like a little bit further and he's like watching it on his phone um but he's um i think he's probably at the i don't necessarily know if it's going to be like the the family plot but um he's like sitting there and like it it angles enough to show that there's um at least two tombstones for, you know, his father and his mother on either side of him. And he's just like, yeah, it went well. I think, I think overall it went well. Um, I was the only one that got grievously injured, but, you know, it never lets a true star hinder his progress, does it now? But I think we'll have a few more interested parties coming in, maybe giving us some good stories and leads to follow up. I think Marius will have plenty of fun with those books they found. All in all, there's more popping up at the office every day, and I just don't know what to do with all of them. We're running out of bookshelf space, which is something I never thought I'd say, even with Marius and the crew. But it's been... It just... It was a little... It's sad to have an entire family go, but I do think it's worse to have one left behind. So I thought I'd come by and say hi for that. And it's just, he's having a nice little chat with his parents, but also glowing in the success of his recent YouTube series. It's doing well. (laughs) And like, yeah, he's got plenty of emails already filling up on his phone with going, oh, you should check out this place next, or hey, we'll sponsor you to go over here and blah, blah, blah. And he's just like, this is actually going quite well. I like how this is going. I like it. I think it. I think it's good. And that's nice. his finale. I think uh, Marius does take some of the books from the library, but they do leave the book mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they're not going to accept anything that Mister Hindley was trying to give them, and. Um, I think that they makes maybe ma- write a paper about some of the stuff that they found in the library, and it's you know fairly well received in the document, you know, in the the kind of circles that Marius uh, runs in, and uh, I think at some point, not soon after, but maybe after the next quote unquote mission that they go on, at some point Marius asks Kari if. He wants to go to dinner. Yeah. Yay. And I think that's that's their good end. I think um, part of uh, Kari's vignette is uh, definitely editing the episode. 
as it were, or like you see part of it is helping Davy get the uh, get it ready to go. Uh, he doesn't look entirely comfortable through parts of it, and he won't touch the audio editing stuff. Um, he just works with with the visuals. And I think we see a scene of him going to therapy. Uh, I think this was sort of a thing where he's just like, maybe you shouldn't just be trying to deal with this ch clearly wide array of shit you have going on by yourself, because it's only going to bite you in the ass. Um, <laughs> so uh, we see a touch of that. Um, I really want there to be some kind of not everything is great though because i came so close to failing that role and it's good um oh i tell you what um just because i'm a dick <laughs> uh kari accepts marius's uh invitation for dinner and uh you see uh him getting ready and being really like genuinely excited about it and he arrives at the restaurant first and uh, is just sat there waiting and he sits in the same pose no, no. That, Miss, that Mr. Hindley did just for a moment or two oh my and gosh. there's the, just a touch of it and then I think it's just for a moment and then like like no this doesn't feel right and sort of like shakes it off and sits down but there was a moment a brief moment where it was there yeah. oh my gosh yes. and then uh actually i think the pose is like that until the door to the restaurant opens as marius comes in and then he moves out of that pose like gets, gets up visibly excited and himself fully himself as he goes to marius mm -hmm. roll yes. credits yes. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah, Karma's a fun game, it seems. Yeah, we should try some of the other sets. Like, yes. there's a whole bunch. So less stressful than Fiasco. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, with more players, it could be really interesting. Like, especially because oh, you yes. can throw more complications at stuff. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh well, Dev, I'm sure we'll all be seeing these characters again, and I hope we do Karma again because it was a it was a good system to work with. Um, but yeah, so this has been Follow the Leader. Uh, I've been Jade. I'm still on Twitter at uh, Jade Looks for Droz. May I'm possibly doing fucky vaguely dommy poses. Who can say? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Mab. You can find me on Twitter at Little Lady Mab. And uh, I'm sitting like a regular gay person in a chair, not a dommy person. So not in a chair. regularly at all. No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no. I say as I pull my legs up to my chest and just yep. perch. Um, I'm Dora. You can find me on Twitter at Harpy Dora, and I am also incapable of sitting in chairs properly. So um, we all complete the set. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone, and uh, until next time. Yep. All right, let's clap. Let's clap.
Hi, it's Dora, and I just wanted to thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed us, please consider leaving a rating on iTunes, telling your friends about us, or tweeting about our show using the FTLcast hashtag. No, seriously, we crave the validation and it helps us out. Your support really means a lot. Thanks again!